What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. Let's go over another draft prospect breakdown. Today will be big guy Landon Dickerson out of Alabama, center, number 69, 6'6", 325. He crosses the T's, dots the I's when it comes to size, strength, everything you want in an offensive lineman, but the biggest red flag, injuries. In five college football seasons, he suffered four season-ending injuries. And the biggest takeaway from this, the best ability is availability. If a guy is not on the field, you can't really depend on him. So with that said, though, when you look at his tape, the dude's nasty. He's a mauler. He does everything you like. So plus, this is your type of guy. What do you like most about Landon Dickerson? Yeah, like you said, I mean, very physical. Uh, he's going to play with, you know, great finish, as you're going to see here. He likes to get people on the ground, put them on there, you know, their butts to say. And uh, yeah, I just like the way he plays the game. Very smart player. Uh, and he just understands what he has to do here. You're going to see him get in great position here, you know, shift over and, and, and seal the block. So he's just very consistent with his game. Uh, like you said, the unfortunate thing is injuries. So he hasn't been on the field a ton, but when he's out there, I mean, he's, he's just really good and a dominant player at that. What I like him again is he's very much in the scheme that the Bucks run. His own blocking scheme, he gets down here on the defensive tackle, then gets to the second level, getting the linebacker. And these are things you want to see play scheme schematically correct with the team you're going to, right? You wouldn't want to get a man blocking guy, get guys like this. Maybe you can get them later because of that injury history. But I mean, we're just trying to evaluate the player and their, their talents. This guy's got it. I mean, strength, size, aggressive. He's like a combination of Jensen and Marpet, in my opinion. And look at this helmet comes flying off. He's still getting after it. I mean, that's Jensen. If I haven't seen Jensen's uh, prototype right there, what do you see here? Yeah, like you said, just, I mean, he is like, I mean, he, he just knows how to, to play the game the right way. Um, he's going to play till the whistle blows, as you see there. Here, again, just getting in the right position, setting up blocks. You know, once he gets your, his hands on the defender, I mean, he's pretty much a wrap. So he can play, you know, he has good mobility, enough athleticism to, to move, um, to play in a type of, you know, scheme where it's zone or you run that duo type running uh, scheme that the Bucks like to do. So, I mean, yeah, he's really got a lot of, a lot of good traits. Um, and that's really nice. I mean, just setting up, setting up the run there. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to touch on one more thing. It's the ability to get over to your spot and block and setting your hips up to man up against this guy, leverage him. So he's not going to get after the running back. That's something where a lesser offensive lineman just gets out of place. They won't get their hips all the way over to get into position to block. I mean, he's getting his turning his whole hips to position to set up this alleyway for the running back. I mean, that's that's all him on that play. And things that you want to look at in tape, this is what we're looking at. And continuing in, center, getting down the line, getting to the tackle, getting the linebacker. What do you see? Yeah, this is just, again, just displaying that very good athleticism, his ability to move, whether it be left or right or downhill, um, understanding his assignments. So here, you know, just getting in that position, like you said, ability to move his hips, get his arms extended, continue to drive the opponent and then push him to the ground, you know, just for extra finish. <laughs> so yeah, very solid player again here, just moving down the line, being able to to swing his body to get in position to make the seal block is, is just very impressive. I mean, that's hard to do. Not many centers can move like that and, and get in the right spot here again, coming around the corner here, him, he, he's at left guard this time. So, so his flexibility and versatility is shown as he's able to pull down and, and make that good block there. And like you just said, versatility, he can play different positions, not just pigeonhole to center. And <laughs> you got to love it. I mean, getting down the line, working, this is a big guy, probably ran 20 yards right now, still looking to enforce his will, running over people. Guys probably hurt. He don't care. <laughs> looking over him like, look, what did I do? And now let's look at him in the passing game. Is passing game passive or is it aggressive? You tell me. Yeah, aggressive and consistent. So, I mean, he, I mean, here he just, you know, finding work as they like to call it. And he, he does that, makes sure he erases people, helps out his guards. And uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to see this consistently where just very uh, textbook. And even if he does get beat here, I mean, he still finds a way to, you know, win, win the battle. So here he gets, you know, kind of beat, but then continues to push and find a way to, to win that matchup. And he's a finisher. Let's be honest. He loves to finish the play. He doesn't stop. 
doesn't stop before the whistle blows. And I love this. Look at all the guys coming after him. Look how wide he gets. He's reaching for guys. Okay, this guy's coming in, number nine. Oh, also see number one coming. Stops him with one hand. Continuing to block down. I mean, blocking two guys, one man. Love it. And he's just so big. I mean, he's so big and wide that he can cover a lot of space. We'll keep going in. Here we go. What do you see here? Yeah, here again, just his ability, I mean, to toss guys and then get downfield um, as well as they're trying to set up a, you know, backdoor screen. So it's just really nice there. And then here, just again, once he gets locked in, I mean, not going anywhere. I mean, he's just going to, you look at that base like you're showing there and just very uh, hard to get by because he is so big. I mean, he's 6'6", 325, and, but his ability to bend the knees and, and really get his hands into your chest plate. You know, it's not like that guy's taking a play off. He's, it's just hard yeah. to get around him. I mean, look at this guy. I love this angle because you can see how many counters this, this tackle does. He's trying to get around him? No, sir. Trying to push bull rush? No, sir. Trying to get inside on him? No, sir. I mean, he tries three different things. just doesn't work. I mean, look how wide he is. Again, I mentioned that. Look how wide he is compared to the tackle trying to rush him. Not crossing his feet, just really getting his feet base, sticking in the ground, pushing. He's got a lot of good traits. I like it. To stay healthy, it's a big thing. <laughs> yeah, staying healthy is huge. But, yeah, here again, kind of, you know, even when he does get off balance, I mean, he's just got a, a great ability to re-anchor and, uh, you know, use his hands, use his strength. Uh, I believe he has a wrestling background, if I'm not mistaken. So it really shows there where, uh, you know, his hands are just very strong. And he can move guys off, off the uh, – you know, he can just move guys around, whether it be off the line or, or wherever he needs to move them. I love this. You got the two linebackers coming in on a blitz. Okay, some offensive linemen gets rattled by this, or they'll just look at the one guy and stick to him. Look at this. Tossing one linebacker, getting the other one. Like, break this down a little bit more, and I'll kind of draw it up on the screen. Yeah, he just he understands uh, concepts. I mean, you can see he's got a very strong mental game. So this is, you know, doing your film work and he understands this kind of blitz pressure, knows what's coming and he picks it up beautifully as, like you said, tosses that guy out of the picture, picks up this guy coming in really nice. And again, you're not going anywhere mm -hmm. uh, once he sets his feet and he has his hands on you. Yeah, and under control, like, yes, he's bulldozing this guy out of the play, but did he jump? Did he leave his feet to kind of execute that block? No, he's st steady. That's literally all upper body strength. He did that, got low. Push this guy out of the way, repositions, anchors, absorbs the hit. I mean, great blocking. Great piece of blocking right there. And now he's just going to go hunt again. Like him in the open open field. <laughs> it's funny to see. It's it's always good to see a guy this this size getting down the field this far. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it just shows his athleticism. Um, again, he's not real, he's not stiff. He can move down downfield if need be. Again, maybe not the fastest, but he's fast enough where you know, he can make plays um, in open space. Now we continue going. I mean, just aggressive. Aggressive, one guy, one hand blocking here. I love it. Left guard now. What do you see? Yeah, him at left guard, again, just showing that flexibility or that versatility and his ability to play multiple positions, which is nice at the next level. Um, and he, he can just, I mean, he can do it all. I mean, take this guy out of the picture pretty much. And yeah, I mean, consistent on the field now it's just you got to hope that his his medicals don't come back um negative and he can continue to go forward and uh and be a very good player for this league for a long time it's i like the way he handles counters i mean the guy tried to bull rush try to get outside after and he just erased it and more aggressiveness from that left guard position just mauling guys very much so a mauler so guys Really hope you understand how, how much we're kind of touching on his strength and his ability to be versatile. It's just, is he going to be healthy? Is he going to be able to stay on the on the field for 16 games? And plus, take it away. Yeah, I mean, so you summed it up perfectly there. I mean, overall, Landon Dickerson is, is going to be uh, a very good prospect if he can stay on the field. Um, that's no question. So hopefully, um, you know, he can have some better luck with injuries. But, yeah, this guy's the top top uh, 50 player, in my, in my opinion, Mark's opinion. I think he's going to be very good at the next level. Oh, with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Give us your thoughts on Lyndon Dickerson. 
And with that said, until the next one.